Hey, bum 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 bum. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, welcome to Coco Sports. I am the huge one, kid, the idiot, Dave Coco from DaveKoco.com. You can find us every day on Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram with Coco Sports. And we are going to do a SmackDown preview, an AEW Rampage preview, but on Twitch.tv forward slash Coco Sports, we'll be doing doing a watch party within the hour as soon as smackdown launches we're gonna do it smackdown's the pre-show aew rampage is the main event and please join us on the twitch machine now let's break down the preview smackdown dun, 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 dun. all right uh, we're reading this off WrestlingInc.com. Tonight's WWE SmackDown on Fox takes place from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Ba 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 ba. It's announced. All right, this is what we announced: WWE Intercontinental Champion Apollo Cruz defense against King Shinsuke Nakamura. Now listen, last week we did a watch party. This this fucking match broke me. This is actually a decent wrestling match. The guys tried their best, and then fucking bookings like, yeah, that's enough of that. You have Dragon Gate versus New Japan, both of them wrestling the WWE style, so meaning they are not as trying as much, even though that, what was it, five minute less maybe match, they were give, busting their ass. I am really just hoping that Apollo Crews and Nakamura for one match have a clean finish and for one match forget that they're in a WWE and just try just bust their ass and steal the show. Uh, Apollo Crews was amazing in Dragon Gate. Nakamura was amazing in New Japan. They come to WWE. It's a different style. You might like the style. But the Nakamura-AJ Styles WrestleMania match broke me. Apollo Crews, it's just like, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Just, just, I beg you one good match. That's all I want, boys. That's all I want. Um, next, you got Sasha Banks. It's SmackDown's world champion, Bian Bianca Belair. I totally swatted that. Signed her WWE contract, SummerSlam contract. <sighs> God. It's been like 50 fucking years since I've watched fucking WWE two weeks in a row. And they, they're never going to change. A contract signing is by far the worst fucking thing you could do in pro wrestling. Are they going to refuse to sign? Do the other people sign contracts? What about, like, it is horrible. It is the worst fucking thing in the world. It is creatively bankrupt. And even if Apollo Crews and Nakamura fucking rock the world and have a five-star match and they tried, Nakamura, you know, has a little too much to fucking drink. Apollo Crews gets fucking something thrown in his eyes and they think they're in a real wrestling company. Even if that's a 10-star out of 10-star, 5 million out of 5 million match, it's going to get, a, from win, loss, or tie, it's going to get a loss. It is such a waste of everyone's time. Now, I know a lot of people blindly defended WWE. Uh, this is it. What happens in a contract signing that is worth a shit? What is worth... Uh, Alright, who knows? Fucking maybe the pen will run out of ink. And then you got... John Cena, movie star. A WWE Universal Champion Roman Reigns come face-to-face -to, -face to hype up their SummerSlam main event. At least there's not a contract. <laughs> at, least, at least there's not a contract. Listen, this preview is going to make me sad. But if Cruz and Nakamura can have time and have permission to try, that is the match that I'm most looking forward to. Contract signing, who gives a shit? And who knows? John Cena, you know, could come out and be like, hey, when I'm a face and I don't show up every week, I'm actually over. Oh, maybe we should, you know, not bury new talent. <laughs> And then you got Roman Reigns. Thank God I'm a fucking heel and don't have to be that asshole. And uh, Roman Reigns, the big dog, the fucking, I don't know, what is he called? The table baker? I don't think he's called the table baker. <laughs> you got him saying, oh, yeah, fuck it, I'm the greatest thing on show. Listen, if you're the greatest thing on show, 
You don't need John Cena to return. And they steal a quote from RevTech. RevTech's like, oh, SmackDown's not that bad. They just need John Cena to return. If you need John Cena to return, it's bad. It's bad. Um, Cruz and Nakamura are only hope for pro wrestling fans. Sports entertainment fans, who knows? Maybe the pen will run out of ink. <laughs> All right, now let's go to the main event. You got, oh, look at this. Boom. Let's go to the main event. AEW Rampage first show out. They're coming out of the gates. And it should be fun. So here's tonight's lineup. You got three championships. So I'm very interested about that. You got the Impact World Championship. And I, I know this is an WWE thing, but I love when other companies' titles are on the line. I love it in Wrestle Kingdom. I love it anytime. Like, it is beyond amazing. It makes the show feel important. It makes the title feel important. It makes pro wrestling feel important. Kenny Omega, the Impact World Championship, will be going against Christian Cage. And I'm super excited for it. Um, I hope Kenny Omega wins because... For the longest time, him and Okada were the only reason I was watching pro wrestling. But um, Rick1982, who joins us on the watch parties, think Christian Cage is going to win because of Impact Booking. I'm going to be completely honest. I watch Impact Wrestling for when Kenny Omega's on the screen. And then when Kenny Omega leaves the screen, I go, well, I hope Andy Paps enjoys this. So there's my Impact review. <laughs> I enjoy when Kenny Omega's on the screen. I stop watching when Kenny Omega leaves the screen. In fact, if you could put on your YouTube channel, just every time Kenny Omega shows up on the screen, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Who knows? People say Impact's doing better. I don't know. I mean, it's weird because, you know, Kenny Omega's getting more eyeballs on Impact. But if there's fucking losers like me that as soon as he leaves, I leave. I don't know if that's helping. But, uh, yeah, we'll probably do Impact's more in the future. But, yeah, um, I'll be rooting for Kenny Omega. Uh, I'm a big fan of Kenny Omega. I'm a big fan of pro wrestling. So, hopefully Kenny Omega. I like Christian Cage, but I don't know. Christian Cage is a great guy. But do you remember that match with Hardy? Wow. Wow. We saw a WWE-type match. That's not a compliment. And then you got Britt Baker versus Red Velvet for the AEW's World Championship. Very interested to see what happens here. Um, they're working very hard to fix the women's division. It seems to be the biggest knock on AEW. So, should be interesting. And then you got Miro versus Fugu Del Sol. I probably totally slaughtered that name. Uh, how do you pronounce Miro? <laughs> That's for the AEW TNT Championship. If Soul wins, he'll also earn an AEW contract. Okay, listen, AEW, sit the fuck down. Just sit the fuck down. Just listen. I stop with the fucking contracts. No one gives a fuck about contracts. Not a goddamn fucking soul. Not a fucking soul. What am I doing? Buying a fucking apartment, a house? Just because WWE has a fucking contract, that doesn't mean you need a contract. He'll get an AEW contract. He's already on the fucking show. He's already got a championship match. Shove the contract up your fucking ass. If wrestling has done anything, it is valued. It's devalued contracts. Oh, uh, he might earn a contract. He has a title shot on a fucking premiere show. Shove the contract up your ass. John Cena shows up, can sign anything. Shove the contract up your ass. Fucking WWE is going to have a fucking... Oh, my, I might just sit, call this show Shove the Contract Up Your Ass. WWE is going to have a fucking signing. The biggest fucking thrill is will there be ink in the fucking pen? Shove the contract up your ass. WWE has just released 4,000 billion people. Please, who's the first WWE fan to realize that sarcasm and will correct it and go, Actually, it's 101. Who is it? Is it going to be you? Are you the fucking pervert that's going to correct me? They, they, they fucking just deleted nine zillion contracts. <laughs> contracts mean nothing. Contracts, jump that contract up your ass. The steal line for Major League. Everyone piss on their contracts. Jesus Christ. The next time you guys buy a house or buy a car, treat the contracts like wrestling does. Like, if your friend's about to buy a car, just push him out of the way. Sign the contract and be like, all right, the car's mine. You know, if I could... I fucking... I, what the fuck? Dear Pro Wrestling, what's, the, what's with the hard-on over contracts? 
what's with the hard on over contracts? I swear it, we're gonna do a, we're gonna do a preview for New Japan's uh, show coming up. We're gonna fucking break it down. We're gonna do a watch party. If we get tic tac toe and New Japan does something with a contract, I'll fucking lose my mind. Has anyone ever been excited for a contract a day in their fucking lives? Maybe you're excited you got a new job. And you're fucking like, oh yeah, I got a new job, I signed it. Maybe you got a new sponsor. Oh yeah, I signed it. But outside of, oh yeah, I signed it. There's no, nothing. Just stop. Stop with the fucking contracts. No one gives a fuck about contracts. Not a goddamn soul. And sure as fuck, not about the goddamn corporations. They don't give a fuck. I mean, uh, hold on, guys. I'm gonna simulate. Oh, fuck it. Let's let's get the cam. Let's get the cam. Let's simulate fucking this contract. Will this work? Will it? Of course, it won't work. Well, what was I thinking? <laughs> there you go, guys. Look at this. If I sign this piece of paper, that means you need to like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, <gasps> oh my God. My heart can't take the thrill. Hold on. Hold on. Maybe maybe the pen doesn't have ink. You better like, comment, subscribe. It's in the contract. The pen didn't have ink. The pen had ink. The pen had ink. Whoa. Contract signing. Contract signing. Contract signing. Contract signing. Stop. Stop. All of pro wrestling. Please stop. Never do that again. You guys, I signed a contract. You have to like, comment, subscribe, and share everywhere. It's in the contract. It's in the contract. <laughs> guys, we'll be live on Twitch with a lot more contract signings. <laughs> uh, we're going to do a watch along. Please join us. We'll probably open up the Discord in case you want to use the voice. If not, chat will be open. All right. Love you guys. We're slowly but surely coming back. Uh, I wanted to go daily on YouTube, but but there's contracts and I was too tired after work and streaming. But I promise you, I'm going to try my best not to suck. Uh, there's not a contract for that. Uh, it's just a word between me and a random fucking viewer. Okay. Are you the random viewer? Put I'm the random viewer and I love contracts if you are. All right. All right. <laughs> Like, comment, subscribe. And with that, I am over. Ba -na 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 -na. Hey!